welcome to the fourth video of the CSS Battles uh, solution walkthroughs. And uh, today we're going to be doing the up, uh, ups and downs. A uh, very fun little challenge here with uh, these little like oval, <laughs> I don't even know what to call them, but like these, these, these squares with two rounded corners. Uh, three of them that are aligned in an interesting manner, right? And we're going to check, okay, how can we do this, right? Um, so let's go over like the, the premise of the, the solution I'm going to be showing you. So we're going to have the body. Right, and the body is gonna have this like purple background. Very straightforward, right? So we can just start off with just like uh, importing that part. So we can go background here and just take uh, this color and stuff it in like that. Nice. Um, and then what we wanna have is that we want the body to have display effects because we wanna have like three elements, which is gonna be each one of these, right? Three of them, um, and then we're just gonna put them in the middle with uh, with some padding, like hard code, ugly padding that are going to make all of the threes go in go like in the middle, right? Uh, and then all of these ones are gonna be like a box with some width and height and a background color and then we're gonna change um, the, the border radius, right? And then for the middle one, what we can do, we can do we can do we can use a attribute selector, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit, which is a cool little trick that we can uh, select just like certain parts or certain elements uh, even though they have the same like element. Right? Even though they're all divs, we can just get just like the middle one, and we're only gonna take that one, and we're gonna do some uh, specific transformations to it to make it go where we want it to go. Right. So enough chit chat. Let's actually start working on the solution. So I'm not even gonna use uh, divs. I'm gonna use p tags uh, just to start off with. We're gonna have three of them, like so. And the reason we're gonna have p tags is well, they work just like divs, but they are uh, four roulette characters because here we have to go div, which is three instead of one, so that's two more. And then here again, we have to go div instead of p, which is again two more, leading up to four more characters. Uh, and we're just gonna save a lot of characters for just using a p instead of a div. And then we're gonna change the background color of them, so just do it right now, like that. Um, and then we're gonna change the width. And the width is not 100, it's 110. And the height is 100, and the background is that. And then the border radius, right? So now we're gonna check the border radius for this one. Um, border radius, like so. Um, and what we want is we want just like the bottom left and the bottom I'm sliding here, bottom left and the bottom right, and we want those to change uh, radius, right? So with border radius you can do something like okay, zero pixel, zero pixel, then let's go twenty pixel, and then twenty pixel again, and now we're gonna see that uh, this one right here is the bottom right, and this value right here is the uh, is the bottom left because it goes clockwise. So we go top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Um, and so with this, we can go, okay, let's go like 50%, like so. And then 50% there again, right? And now we're gonna get that little shape. Super, super nice. Uh, and then if we wanna put them in the middle, right? We can just go display, flips, right? And then they go in the middle, super nice. Uh, but now they're not really like aligned in the middle as I want them to, right? Which is going to be a bit problematic. So what we can do now is we can go, okay, let's go padding here. Let's put them in the middle. Um, like so, and the padding we want to have is 126 pixels and then 42 pixels, like so. And now we can see if I put the sliding curve that this one right here is where it wants to be, right? They're all where it wants to be. Like, if you go to diff, right, <laughs> you want to see that it's just a big pill in the middle because this is where should, uh, like stuff is wrong. Uh, on the left and on the right, we have like correct, but th the middle one is wrong. So, what we can do, we put like we the, the thing I talked about putting attribute selectors, one attribute selector. Well, for example, a lot of you are familiar with putting like an ID, right? Uh, so doing like AI ID and like, let's go give an ID of like middle, something like that, right? Not really gonna do this, but what you could do now is you can go, okay, find where ID is, uh, or we can I think we can just go ID like this, and then background like red, right? We're gonna see that the middle one uh, becomes red because it is the only one that has an ID, right? And we could do also do something like ID equals middle right and then we're gonna check it or uh, get it again and if i change it to like left we can see it doesn't work now right but we can do something well pretty nice now because we can go like okay we can just hard code it and do something ugly that's not really that great because uh, we can take like a single character like m for middle right and then we can just find where uh, find anything that has m and you can see now it becomes red uh this isn't a real selector you don't need real selectors you can put whatever you want and it's gonna work uh, but M just stands for middle, and it's one character, again, with CSS battles. The entire goal is to have as few characters as humanly possible, right? 
And what we want to do with this one is that we want to give it some margin, right? Uh, and the margin we want to have is mini minus 84 pixels and then zero, right? Uh, because it's going to bring it up 84 pixels, which is sort of what sort of where we want it. Exactly where we want it, exactly, <laughs> to be fair. And then we can just rotate it 180 degrees, right? So just flip the entire thing. And there we go. And now we have uh, this. We can move the background color red. See, now we download it. It should work. And we, we submit. We get a hundred percent match. Right. So now we have solved the the problem with a decent like solution here. But let's start by the, like removing as many characters as possible. So we can start with the style though. At the bottom here, we can remove that and just drop a lot of characters. Um, and then here we can remove the last semicolon. We don't need that one. And then we can take the rotate here and just scroll down. And then I like to put pluses instead of the space bars because it makes uh, it makes it simp more simple for me to see like okay, I've actually removed all the white space here. And then put a uh, percent here. Uh, this is fine. We can do percent. It doesn't matter. Uh, but then with the with the uh, with the <laughs> with the I can't speak <laughs> with the zero pixels, we can just write zero instead because we the zero just infers pixels, and uh, so we don't need that. And I think we could do something like no, we can't. Okay, it's only zero that <laughs> uh, infers pixels. We can just kind of put like ninety nine. It's gonna be ninety nine pixels. It's not a thing. Uh, but then we can, yeah, we can just keep on removing all the white space, uh, and then here, for example, for for height, we don't need pixels. We can just go height 100. It's gonna be the same. Uh, width 110. We don't need uh, we don't need any pixels there. Remove white space. Remove the white space. Remove the last semicolon of this flex, and then here, and then for padding again, we don't need any white space. We don't need pixels. We can put a plus instead of the and the space bar. Again, that's pretty optional. Uh, for the background, we do need the one. We do need that one, and then here, and then like so, and then remove you, remove, remove, and just like that, we have 168 characters with 100% match. Ta-da! That's almost, <laughs> almost in the leaderboard. If you check the leaderboard, we can see that this guy is absolutely cracked in the head with 83, and then we just go down to 132. Uh, but the last at the bottom is. 159. So if you somehow find a way to remove nine characters from my code, by all means, leave a comment on how you did that. <laughs> I would love to see a, a better solution because there's obviously a way you can put down like 80 characters from this, which is incredible. Uh, the guys that are in the leaderboard are absolutely insane that they can find these things. But yeah, that's uh, this solution. I uh, hope you liked the video and I uh, hope to see you next one. Bye bye.